Welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews and another reading vlog. Thank you to everyone who watched or didn't watch the reading vlog from last week. If you didn't watch it because of the audio, I completely understand. I'm hoping that it will be better this week. Uh, basically, it, there was a sinking issue and, and now I think it should be fixed? Question mark. Last time we spoke, I was a little bit of the way through the mime order. Uh, I have now finished said book. The mime order is done. Uh, I had a good time reading this. There was a lot of stuff that I thought happened much earlier in the book that actually was kind of the end of this book so I've clearly conflated some of this and the song rising but to be fair the song rising is the one I know the least well so it'll be interesting getting to read that again and seeing what I can remember and what I've made up and all of that stuff. Uh, I still think that this has some of the best world building elements in all of them, all the different kind of gangs and stuff. It just gets into it in a way that I really enjoy, that I kind of wish the whole series had been. Like, we spend so much time in Oxford not having any world building. And yeah, I like this a lot. I'm hoping the fourth one gets back to that, I'm just saying. I don't think it will. I think it's in France, but mm, never mind. I did also read the prologue of the left-handed booksellers of London by Garth Nix, but I didn't get any further than that. That's, that's all I will say. It's been a very warm weekend, with not much activity in it of any kind. Goals for this week, I would like to read five books, pushing myself one more than last week, just because, I don't know, overachieving. Uh, I'd like to read five books, I'd like to have all of my arcs that I have read by the end of the week, so I think at the moment that's just The Left-Handed Booksellers of London and Deadly Education. I'd like to have both of those read because that would be good, and then also have the reviews written. And I would like one of them to be Animoffs, so that I can script out that video and film that because otherwise I'm never gonna finish that series. I'm filming like one a month. It would literally take five years to finish it at that rate. And I think I'm going slower than that rate. So hi me at 30. <laughs> but I'm never gonna finish any of that if I don't get on with my day. So welcome to a week in my life where I wear button up shirts and read stuff. Hello and welcome back to It's Too Hot Function here on Dead Good Book Reviews. It's Tuesday morning uh, and things are going all right this week to be honest. It was a productive day yesterday. I got the stuff I needed to get done done. That does mean they have a whole new day worth of stuff to get done. That's how the world works. Um, but we don't put our value in our productivity and uh, we acknowledge that we did good yesterday we have no desire to live up to it today. I don't know, some self-help, self-improvement nonsense there. Reading update, that's what you're here for. Uh, yesterday I did do some reading, I finished Animorphs 9, The Secret, and that is all scripted and ready to go whenever I'm next in the mood to film. In this heat, it's probably not going to be for a while, so thank goodness next Monday's video is already scheduled. Animorphs is done, so tick that off for the week. Uh, and I also finished The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix which it was interesting. It was perfectly fine. It's not a book that I can see people like around the world loving and saying, oh, you know, The Left-Handed Booksellers of London was my favourite book of the year. I don't think that's gonna happen. So you have this main character, whose name I've forgotten, that's terrible. Susan, that's what it is. So you've got the Narnia connection there, I guess. Um, and she's going to look for her dad and she ends up in this world of booksellers who are kind of wizards, magician-y types, uh, and also battling things from the beyond, and a bit the fae, but not really. It really reminded me of Percy Jackson, but if you aged up that and didn't do any of the educational side of it, which I think is what this book was missing, there's a lot of kind of creatures introduced that I think must be from English folklore, presumably, um, but I'd never heard of them and I don't think I could now tell you really what they are. And I don't know if that's because they were all completely made up and they aren't in fact from English folk for. But then give me some flavour, I guess. There's a romance that didn't really land. Yeah, it kind of felt like if you aged, you couldn't age down the main character to make it more of kind of like a Percy Jackson age book because then it wouldn't make sense to have her working with booksellers because that wouldn't, you can't have children who are booksellers. But then you age up everything and it, it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite sit right. And that's a, I don't quite know why, um, one to explore when writing a review, but, but overall it was like an enjoyable reading experience. It's just not a favorite. It was perfectly fine and adequate and fairly fun at times and involved some good ideas. Um, and it was certainly huge amounts better than Angel Mage was. Uh, so thank goodness 
improvements. So yeah, two books down this week. Uh, I've got Deadly Education is kind of next on my roster. Uh, and then I will probably do one of my last couple of TBR bits. I'm really looking forward to reading Deadly Education. I think it's going to be so good. I'm so excited, mainly because I just need an upswing, really. But I, I rereading Uprooted made me remember how much I love Naomi Novik's stuff. I'm really excited to get back into it. Um, and I still haven't picked an audiobook. I have an audible credit from last month that I haven't got to yet, and I can't decide what I want to do. So suggestions or links to your audiobook recommendations in the comments below, please. I probably won't have got to it by Sunday. <laughs> On with the day. Good morning. Welcome back to It's Hot, the show where I start every vlog segment telling you that it's hot. Hi, it's Wednesday and it's hot. So, reading updates for you. I spent most of yesterday evening working on my sewing project, which I will vaguely show you a sneak preview of, uh, ooh, and throw some allergy medication on the floor while I'm at it. You can't tell because of this pattern, but I've got a collar going. It's a very dramatic collar, which in theory I should have maybe resized slightly, but I didn't want to, so that's fun and um just the oh, you won't pick that up but the dulcet tones of a sewing project slightly hitting the ukulele strings is 100% my vibe so yeah I didn't do much reading yesterday evening but I did do a bit of reading of Deadly Education that's the one I'm looking for um so this is the first book in the Scholomancy series uh, and as ever I didn't really know enough about it before picking it up other than the main character had terrible dark powers and it was a school where you could die very easily um and it's actually even cooler than that it's not just this kind of like dark academia let us waft around talking about books and being floppy haired boys thing it's so weird like the whole concept of it is the school is kind of sealed off so that these horrible beasties can't get in but they do get in and the smaller ones can get through all the pipes and attack everyone and the bigger ones can't so they just linger in a chamber and graduation day that graduating class gets like lowered into the chamber and they have to escape or die um and so far it's really interesting i can't i can't quite put my finger on if i'm enjoying it or not i am so yes i can put my finger on it i am enjoying it it's much weirder than i was expecting which is always a bit of a jarring experience um when you first start reading something but i i think it's gonna be a good time i think especially coming straight off the back of uprooted was the last naomi novik book i read and it made a lot of sense and is very clear, even though the world building is interesting. Uh, this one is less so, uh, and is much more kind of ooh, out there. I want to look into a bit of the research in the background that she did writing this book and where her inspirations came from and stuff. That's what I want to do um, at some point, possibly if I do a dedicated review for it. That's what I will do. But anyway, my room is currently set up for sewing and not set up for either reading or work, both of which I need to do today. So I'm going to take some time this morning and put everything to rights uh, as much as I can be bothered to knowing full well that I'm going to want to sew this evening. And I'm going to try not to get too warm today. I am pretty sure I've worn this outfit already this week, but let's not judge. Um, hello, it is Thursday. I actually watered the plant early uh, because it's been so warm. Uh, we had a lovely thunderstorm yesterday evening, which was slightly overshadowed by the garage flooding. Everything's fine, but it was uh, all hands on deck, let's bail out the garage kind of moment. So I'm going to tick off water plant from my list. Um, reading update for you. Yesterday I finished Deadly Education. It took longer than I thought it was going to. But it's not hugely long, it was just me being me. Um, I really enjoyed it, yeah. Uh, talking to some friends, one saying they were quite trepidatious about it because of all the dark academia wankery that has been going on. I would say if that is your problem, I wouldn't necessarily worry about this book. It is much more person in school where constantly small deadly things come out of pipes to attack you. Uh, that's kind of the vibe. Uh, I, I did really enjoy it. I'd like to read some own voices reviews especially after all the current discourse about not writing a main character, not writing a point of view that you are not. So in this case, the main character Elle is half Indian, I believe, and I can't claim to have looked up Naomi Novik, but I believe that she is not that. Uh, I will probably fact check this when I edit this. I don't think there was necessarily a problem with the representation. I'd quite like to know what non-white people think about that. 
But the actual plot and the setting I thought was really cool. Uh, there's a romance in it, sort of-ish. I think I want to film a full dedicated review for it though, because I've talked about Naomi Novik enough on this channel, it should be a thing that I do. My, my one thing I will leave you with is it really should have been gay. Uh, and Naomi Novik continues to not give us that, uh, and it's beginning to feel extra sad at this point. But that being done, I did also do some sewing yesterday, it's not quite ready to show you, I need to finish off some seams, but then it will be wearable and, uh, you know, livable and showable. It is intense, it's like a Christmas pirate, that's the image I will give you to hint at the way this shirt is. I'm going to start Song of the Crimson Flower today, which I think will be fun. I can wait out you hang on. Song of the Crimson Flower. I don't know what that voice was. Song of the Crimson Flower. Um, but mainly because it's nice and short and I think it would be good. And Justine talked about it in her recent underhyped sci-fi fantasy. That yawn is no reflection on Justine's video and purely a reflection on how warm and lack of sleep I've been. But yeah, I will link Justin's video because it's really good and it hyped me up for reading this. It's been your Thursday quick check-in. Uh, I will be back tomorrow for another one and being excited that it is a Friday. Hello, welcome back. It is Friday and I look like a 1980s business pirate Christmas elf. I don't care because I made it myself. Uh, it's probably not doing well on camera but I'm enjoying it greatly. The shoulder poof is real. Yeah, sewing project done. I need to decide what I want to do next. This shoulder is a little bit suspect. That's not what you care about. Uh, I want to talk reading. So yesterday I read Song of the Crimson Flower. Let's waft it at you. Fully rotate. Song of the Crimson Flower by Julie C. Dow. It was really lovely, really sweet, little short story set in the same world as Forest of a Thousand Lanterns. So it's in the future and ow, every time. But yeah, I thought this was a sweet little kind of fairy tale romance kind of thing. Perfectly lovely, would really recommend you read it if you just want something nice and light and uplifting. And who doesn't want something nice and light and uplifting on a horrible, stormy, well it's not even stormy, if it was stormy I'd like it, a horrible rainy Friday morning, would recommend. And then late last night when I could not sleep because it was so muggy and humid, uh, I picked up, oh what's it called? The Dawn Chorus by Samantha Shannon. So the novella that spans from the bone season all the way through to now the gap between the song rising and the mask falling. I think it's the mask falling that's her next one. Anyway, uh, did I manage to read a series out of order despite having all the books on a series on my TBR? Apparently so. Uh, yeah, I need to pick up the song Rising and finish that again. But uh, Dawn Chorus, I thought it was perfectly lovely. Again, uh, well, I say perfectly lovely. I always start with that and then I think about it. I'm like, oh no, it really wasn't. Uh, there's huge trigger warnings for it if you don't want to talk about aquaphobia, uh, the aftermath of torture. Basically, if you've read the song Rising and you know all the stuff that happens to various characters in the song Rising, uh, you might want to consider how sensitive you are to the aftermath of those things before going into reading the Dawn Chorus. I'll say that for now. If you need any more specifics, drop me a message. But I thought it was well written, it was a nice look at these characters. Um, novellas in between series, like canon novellas, are always a little bit fan servicey. I personally don't mind that if you know that's what it is, but it does always feel a bit like, and now they're gonna do that. Yeah, there they go. I am gonna pick up Today, alongside vlog editing and all of that stuff, uh, I'm going to pick up Song of Wraiths and Ruin, um, which is, in theory, the last book on my TBR. It isn't, because I forgot to add at, at least one book to my TBR, uh, and that is uh, The Wolf of Orin Yarrow from Moon. I just forgot to put it on my spreadsheet. That never happened with anything else ever. Um, but yes, uh, so I want to pick this up because it's it's one on my TBR anyway. Um, I'm looking forward to it and a lot of people have been talking about this lately. I think it is genuinely everyone who bought it on release date is now getting around to reading it. And I'm excited! I need to learn to not put books near my face because every time I thwack myself. Every time. Right, without further ado, I'm going to go and get on with my day. Welcome back to Decker Book Reviews on a Saturday. It's the last day of the vlog. I'm ready to edit. Yes, hello, it is Saturday, it is 
midday, about half eleven. I've been out this morning, I went to do a little bit of a kind of be in the world again kind of thing. I did actually go to Waterstones, where we live, but they didn't have anything I wanted, so I did not buy anything, which is probably for the best, because I didn't actually pick up Song of Wraiths and Ruin yesterday. Uh, I was editing, what can I say? So my TBR is still at one, two, two books ish. I did pick up The Night Circus, my reread of that. I think I'm probably about 300 pages into this. I'm doing it as a mix of actually reading it and the audiobook. That's not me saying audiobooks are bad, I just mean, you know what I mean. And yeah, I'm having a good time with it. It's a good story, I like it a lot. Uh, it's a, an old favourite, it's nice to revisit. Even though I edited that clip of the vlog yesterday, I can't remember what my goals were for this week, but I think it's been a pretty good reading week. I'm pretty sure I've read five books, so uh, completed that goal. Can't remember what the other goals were, but uh, assume I completed those as well. I don't know. Goals for this week, I would like to read five books. I'd like to have all of my arcs that I have read by the end of the week, and then also have the reviews written. And I would like one of them to be Animorphs, this weekend I am probably going to finish The Night Circus and then I might start Song of Wraiths and Ruin. Maybe. I haven't decided yet. I want to be in the right mood when I pick it up and I'm very tired at the moment. That's my only reasoning. But uh, you'll find out next Sunday when I put out my vlog from next week. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you had a good time. I had a pretty good time. It's some pretty good reading done. Comment below with your thoughts on the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon. I would love to hear the general consensus as to whether we love it, whether we don't like it, whether we think Paige gets beaten up too much. That's our opinion in this house. While you're down there, you can like, you can follow me on all of my socials, you can subscribe. It makes me feel loved and appreciated and I will see you in the next one. It's gonna be some bloopers now.